we are moving on, on on the news tonight, and it's important to uh, bring you something uh, away from uh, the 2023 elections. If you want a country where fairness, equity, and justice uh, r truly reign, then we must go back to the drawing board and embrace restructuring. These were the words of the widow of uh, the late King Kaudumaki at a lecture and book presentation in his honor held in Ikeja, Lagos. Plus TV's correspondent, Love Ikuko Yedoku was there and brought in this report. It is one year since the passing on of Yenka Odumaki. This book lunch was put together in his honor. His wife wrote the book to immortalize him. Life without him has... It's almost empty for me because each day I sleep, you know, when I wake up, I feel his presence. And at times I feel that, oh, there are, up to today, I still have his phone with me. And when I switch off that phone, when I was in the U.S., I switch off and, and I said, oh, he has forgotten his phone. Then I send information to the phone at times. So life has been, you know, has been terribly difficult. It's so... I mean, it's so difficult for me to agree that it's no longer here. Tributes flowed from friends, family, and close associates for the late Yinka Odumaki. We are saddened by this passage, but are consoled by the legacies he left behind. A legacy of commitment to truth and improvement of a society based on equity, justice, and fairness. Nigeria is a work in progress, and there is no doubt that as we work for the betterment of our society, the indelible memory of exploits of Yinka Odumaki will remain evergreen. The greatest tribute we can pay to Yinka today is to decide collectively here that we are going to continue the battle for a new Nigeria, a new Nigeria that will be anchored on justice and fair play. I thank God for his life. I'm only imagining today if the dead can only look back Many will not believe they do. My faith says they do. Because the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12 that we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. And not only that, we are in the midst of the spirits of just men made perfect. I'm sure if you would look back today, you will realize that you have not labored in vain. Keeping the legacies of the late Oduma King is paramount to his wife. Just like her late husband, she wants to see Nigeria return to true federalism. All the ideals that Yinka lived and died for, I will continue to keep it. His legacies, I will keep it. I will continue by the grace of God to remain strong. And I promise that I will never let you down. Yinka Udumakin died at the age of 54. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Uyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.